The Garden State Mosaic is a collaborative effort of the Monmouth Center for World Religion and Ethical Thought and the Monmouth County Human Relations Commission. It was an effort to bring together youth from various backgrounds to learn about their different belief systems and practices, and also for the interfaith youth to work together cooperatively on a community service project, and finally for them to learn interfaith bridge building, leadership, and organizational skills. The planning committee for the uh, Garden State Mosaic began setting up the framework in the summer of 2013. In the fall, we began, we began to reach out to different faith leaders in the community for them to nominate youth leaders from their respective congregations. And in November, we began our first session where we brought together the youth, where they worked together on brainstorming ideas and how to mix it. After that, from January through April, we met every two Sundays at a different house of worship. And when the youth came together at these houses of worship along with their faith leaders, the youth of the host congregation began with a faith presentation. After that, we had the youth break up into groups where they would discuss common values that we all share amongst all the different faiths, such as compassion, forgiveness, love of God, justice, and others. The important parts of Garden State Mosaic was um, the youth working together cooperatively on a community service project. We had four groups who um, came up with four different projects and out of that we chose two um, projects that the youth would carry out. And the projects were based on, were chosen based on whether or not they were feasible. Number two, um, how much community involvement because we wanted to involve as many people as possible and to spread the word about Garden State Mosaic. And number three, if the students could um, do the adequate fundraising and um, uh, finance the project. So for that reason, we chose, the first project that we chose was Midnight Run, which you're going to see in this video, where the students came together and they did an awesome job of collecting food, clothing, and distributing it to the homeless in New York City. This was a massive effort um, from all the different congregations and they did a phenomenal job. done so far is we sorted out some clothes based on like size and whether it was for um, men's or women's. What we're going to do is um, prep, prepare like the meals um, and bag some toiletries. We also, um, both of us as well as lots of um, other people here, we're not going on the bus but we are um, just prepping. We're helping out helping. for everyone who is. Doing whatever we can. So we're making sandwiches for the homeless people in New York City to eat dinner. Well, we are watching the enthusiasm in the kids today and how excited they are about what they're going to be doing tonight. And it's really very inspiring to see this kind of enthusiasm. Okay. A few people are going to get off the bus. Yes, half, half of the group should get off the bus and the other half should stay on the bus. Do you want any sandwiches? Sure. And we have chips or something. Do we have PB and Jay and turkey? Okay, I'll take it on my turkey. Turkey and turkey. Thanks so much. You're welcome. No 
Nice job, everybody. Very nice. Um, the second project that we, um, the organizers selected was Teens Against Intolerance. It's a long-term project to raise awareness amongst the uh, middle schoolers about cultural diversity in our area and um, cultural and cooperation amongst different ethnicities and backgrounds and to teach youth about tolerance. And this is going to be carried out throughout the next school year. And finally, we concluded the 2013-2014 um, Garden State Mosaic with an award ceremony to recognize the efforts of everyone involved, especially the dedicated, hardworking students and their parents who were with them every step of the way. The thing that I've learned from Mosaic is like, you know, obviously to promote tolerance, but also just to like celebrate each other's faiths and how different we are. And, you know, I think it's a beautiful thing because now I, think I finally understand that we may pray differently or worship differently, but I think it's totally possible for people of all different backgrounds to coexist. So. I really want to emphasize this word that you used, which is celebrate. I mean, that is really what the emphasis should be. It's not about tolerance. It's about celebrating our differences and, you know, this is also the reason why we chose mosaic. A mosaic is a beautiful artwork of many different things of coming from different places pulled together. And that's how we want to see uh, us as a society. It's a mosaic.